and semi-finalist Chef Adam Cook and Access Carolina's Ava Bratz. Showing us a preview of what's in store for Restaurant Week, Ava. Well, with dozens and dozens of restaurants participating here in the Upstate, we are so excited to feature Top Soil and, like you said, a semi-finalist for the James Beard Award. Talent right before our eyes. Chef Adam, thanks for having us in today. Yeah, welcome to Top Soil. We're excited. <laughs> You're no stranger to Restaurant Week, so yeah. being someone that's been in the game a long time, what are you excited for? What gets you going for yet another year? Uh, well, I mean, I think there's lots of great reasons to come to Traveler's Rest, and we certainly hope that we're one of those. Um, each year, it's a great reason to uh, visit new restaurants, mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. you know, while we're four years old, I think we're still new to a lot of people, yeah. so yeah. hopefully that's that for that. I think, well, I'd say that's good enough. Let's just wrap this interview up, <laughs> Well, a lot of restaurants really go all out to have something new on the menu, but you guys are new weekly. Yes. Tell me about yeah. the difference you have that relationship with farmers. Sure. Well, it's... Um, it is weekly. It's daily sometimes, um, occasionally even within the hour. Um, and so we start our week on Thursday officially for business. Yeah. We intake orders Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from all local farmers. We have about a network of 20, everything mm -hmm. from mushrooms, uh, pork, any kind of vegetable you can think of. So yeah. I saw some pretty colorful carrots back there, and we're going to give you a preview pretty soon. But I want to open up. Chef Adam's restaurant to you here. It's beautiful, a great collection of artists. We have some fine wines as well. What all can people experience as they're walking through here, Adam? Sure, well, the first thing you see is the market, and like you said, lots of wine. We have uh, homemade hot sauce, uh, nice linens we make from prints of uh, art that our owner actually did. Oh, wow. Uh, based off of our series of plant-based supper clubs. Ah, okay, um, you to take those flavors home with you. Of that. Uh, for sure, get a sweatshirt while you're here. Gotta show up the merch. <laughs> and if you look up, we've got an upstate artist, Rick Sandridge. He has got a wonderful exhibit here at the restaurant. Yeah, he's done the whole restaurant. Um, he is our second artist to do the entire restaurant. Uh, yeah. Jerry Webbin was our first, and we're loving it. It's brought a ton of color, uh, yeah. super interesting art this time. No kidding, and a lot of conversation, and not only do you have the yeah. talent here with you and your team, but you, you bring other talents in. Let's head outside to the brunch area. We've got Kirsten here, director of all things events and fun things, brunch and bluegrass. Tell me all about it. Well, we have brunch every uh, Saturday and Sunday from mm -hmm. 10 to 2. On Saturdays, we have live bluegrass, and it's from 12 to 2. So oh, make your goodness. reservations. We book up fast. Well, brunch and bluegrass plus on restaurant week. Let's head outside to where all the magic happens. I've dined here before. The musicians set up here, and you just never want to leave, right? No, not at oh, all. We have yeah. a great brunch menu. Same idea as dinner, hyper-fresh, hyper-local food. Mm -hmm. um, great options for everyone. And, uh, Can't yeah. Can't go wrong. Cannot. Well, take a look at this brunch menu here. We had them pull it out, and this is going to probably be changing until, you know, this Sunday. I feel like breakfast is the best time to really highlight those farmers. Absolutely. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. Well, we're wrapping up here. We're going to head into the kitchen. I told you those carrots were colorful. They open today, Restaurant Week, Topsoil Market. We'll see you soon. All right. Looking forward to seeing you in the kitchen, Ava. See you soon. Now, from